What's up fellow guardians, today is October 1st, 2021, and today Zer is on Nessus. Find him over here on the top of the map in the Watcher's Grave. Let's see what he's got for us today. So as always, he's got his exotic ciphers. So if you don't already have the quest completed for this season or looking for previous exotics is a, one of the best ways to get the previous season's exotics. Legendary armor seems to be the ancient apocalypse set. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be for all three characters. Gauntlets, chest plate, it's not that bad for Titans. Class item is always a class item. This helmet is actually really not bad. Could use more recovery. So uh, if you're looking for a pretty decently balanced helmet for a Titan, grab this. And so are the boots. Could use a little bit more resilience. For the legendary weapons, he's got the Dire Promise with auto-loading swashbuckler. He's also got high caliber rounds, hit mark, and sure shot. Pretty good, 140. It's got some high aim assist. If you don't already have a decent Dire Promise, I highly suggest you pick this one. It's really not bad for PvE or PvP. Got the GN7 Pulse Rifle. Got Outlaw. Auto-loading, uh, uh, auto trigger system it's got alloy flared magwell you can you have a choice between these sites it's got a range mask work it's not bad but uh pretty sure the vanguard pulse rifle is slightly better than this last perdition it's a void pulse rifle unfortunately it's not that great you'd be better off getting the void pulse rifle from the dungeon uh but look at perks he's got under pressure kill clip attack mag and you got your choice of sights Got the seven serif CQC shotgun, really good, underweighted for PVP. If you don't have a decent one for PVP, pick this, uh, pick one up, but this is not the role for you because it's got auto loading snapshot shite. You prefer either aggressive mag, uh, assault mag, or uh, accurize rounds if you're going for a PVP role. Um, so I could, I'm, I'm pretty confident in saying you should pass up on this one. Got the hollow words, it's a precision frame, not bad for PVP, but it's got disruption break, left from gold, particle repeater, accelerated coils, your choice of uh, uh, barrels, it's got a stability mass work. Mm, I can't really recommend this for PVP. Uh, it's not that bad for PVE though. Mm, I would say probably wait until he sells one with Vorpal Weapon. Uh, he's got the Behringer Memory. He's got Shield Disorient, Quick Draw. You've already lost me. Not gonna lie. And then he's got the Kneading with Wellspring, Moving Target, Ricochet. Your choice of uh, barrels. Mm, not bad for PvP. And you could probably make a case for it in PvE. But, uh... I, you could definitely pass on this one. Moving on to exotics. As always, he's got an exotic engram. If you don't have all the exotics, this is the best way to catch up for your specific character. Same with the world drop exotics. And if you've gotten all of them that you can get on that specific character, you turn your 90 to 7 shards, get a random exotic. Armor piece, give me the dune marchers. Got some high resilience and discipline, but I've seen better. There's one number away from being nice. Moving on. The exotic weapon this week is a hard light. Comes with composite stock. Secondary exotic perk is called fundamentals. Long press X or whatever your reload button is to change this weapon's damage type. Cycling between solar arc and void. Uh, it's a main exotic perk is called volatile light rounds fired from this weapon have reduced damage fall off over penetrate targets and ricochet off hard surfaces projectile damage increased after bounce 
Uh, it does have an exotic. Uh, it does have a catalyst. Let me grab mine. I believe I have mine's max out. Exotic catalyst gives it a whole heaping helping of stability. Uh, it's still got some bounce, but it's pretty decent. And it's got some ornaments. Take your pick. Uh, I don't really have any of the good ones. There is a third one, I believe, that's better than these. Uh, maybe just they'll sell it at the Eververse one day. But anyway, moving on to exotics per character for the hunters. Zer has bought the Shards of Galanor. You don't already have it. It's also got a couple of ornaments. This is the only one I have. It's overall roll is 62, which is not a bad number. It's got high intellect, which is what you want. Decent mobility, resilience. If you masterwork it, you get a plus one in both recovery and uh, resilience. Got some decent strength. Not bad if you don't already have a decent one. Uh, pick this up. It's exotic perk. It's called Sharp Edges. Hits and kills with Blade Barrage will return super energy after the super ends. Caps out at about 50%, but it's easy to get to that 50%. For the Titans, he's brought the Crest of Alpha Loopy, which is a very underrated exotic for Titan in PvP and PvE. Its exotic perk is called Survival Well. It generates an additional orb of power from supers and a healing pulse when barricade is active. It actually gives you a decent amount of health back, uh, especially in PvP where you want high recovery. Uh, this basically gives you your health back pretty much immediately. Not the full bar, but a good healthy chunk to keep you in the middle of the fight while you wait for the rest of your recovery to kick in. So uh, pick this up. Uh, I don't really see too much. There are better exotics for orb generation in PvE, but in terms of uh, keeping you in a fight in PvP, this is definitely one of the best exotics out there. I don't know why people just kind of... I mean, sure, you got one-eyed mask, which gives you an overshield, but I mean, this is gives you health for free while you're running away. But anyway, pick this up. Um, it's got a good amount of resilience, which is what you want because you want to pop your shield, your uh, barricade to get your health back. And everything else is just kind of really balanced. You get plus one if you master work it on pretty much everything, every single slot. So, yeah. And last but not least, we have the Sun Bracers for the Warlocks. The exotic perk is called Helium Spirals. Increases the duration of solar grenades. Solar melee kills grant unlimited solar grenade energy for a brief time. I believe it lasts for like three, four, maybe five seconds. I don't remember exactly. It's got a total overall stat of 65, which is good. I uh, got terrible recovery, unfortunately. Got some decent um, resilience, mobility, discipline, and intellect. Overall, pretty balanced. Uh, unfortunately, you're gonna probably have to put like one recovery mod on whatever build you come up with, but that's not too much of an issue, given that you're pretty much decently stacking all the other stats it's a decent exotic uh unfortunately not uh end game exotic because you don't really want to be in a position where you have to melee things uh top tree definitely is going to get some benefit considering that things explode from your burn damage middle tree uh you can make it work given that you can use your uh, grenade to heal teammates as well gives you uh more of a chance to be a little bit more aggressive now and bottom tree, you know, you have your long range melee, so, you know, you can make it work with that as well. When it comes down to solar subclass for Warlocks. That's it for today's inventory. Like the video if you did, if you found it informative, uh, let me know in the comments below if you're going to be picking up anything from Xur this week or if you find anything interesting and as well as inform me on what other content that you want me to cover in terms of destiny 2 but this has been the cell games thank you for watching have a good day